Hey guys, I'm Scott and welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, uh, Skate Park by Scott. Uh, my little uh, videos are just a little quick way, easy, quick way on how to paint. I don't get too technical with my paintings. Okay, um, I, I don't use, I don't take a long time to paint. And, you know, some people, it takes me only, uh, you know, hour or two or so just to paint. Or it takes some people two weeks to paint. You know, but that's on them. If they want to take an hour just to paint a little stone, you know, have at it. The, you know, that's not my way at all in how to paint. You know, skies, um, you know, people put in, uh, you know, browns and pinks and reds and purples in their skies, and they end up just being, to me, a little, little like blue. The blue sky, you know, if I'm painting a blue sky, I'm just going to use blue. Okay, grass, and, you know, green grass, just green. You know, uh, maybe different shades of green here and there, but it's going to be green. I just, I don't use, I guess what I'm trying to say, I don't use 10 colors to make one color. Alright, I just don't do that. And if um, you you want a long, drawn out process on a paint, my videos are not for you. You want a quick, easy way and how to do a nice, very nice little painting, ah, my little videos, that, that you know, it is for you. Alright, so... You know, enough on that. Now, let's get started here. I got a, a 16 by 20 uh, candles up here. And uh, like always, if you're just first time seeing me, check out my other videos and you'll understand what I'm doing, how I do, how I paint. But I'm going to go ahead and paint this top part, uh, put a little nice little coat of white paint on there. And I'll be right back. Before I do that, hey, subscribe to that channel for me, guys. You know, help me out and hit that like button. I've only, I probably, you know, I think this is my 54th, 55th painting, and, you know, I don't know, I may, I might have 15 likes in all my videos combined, so, you know, I'm, you know, enough on that, but anyway, I want to turn off this camera, and then I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I got that done, and uh, now I'm going to come back with some sky blue color, and let's see, come right from here. Gonna come all the way down in here somewhere. Something like that. Maybe some little over here. Alright. Now I'm gonna dip my brush right into some phthalo blue. Yeah. Come right up in here. Phthalo blue, uh, darker than the sky blue. I just wanted uh, that sky blue, you know, just a different shade of blue. And this is a little dry already, so I'm going to wet it down. See how much smoother that paint go goes on when it's wet? You know, at least some air is open. Don't cover it all in. And then you can just, with the same brush, you can just start blending right on up. And that's a very uh, quick way in how to put in the sky and clouds. You know, the open areas that you left up here, you know, they could be clouds. I know some people are like, ah, oh, they, they don't look like, they ain't no clouds look like that. But all, I, what I can tell those people right there is that the hospital released you too, too early, okay? Yes. <laughs> Way too early. Alright. Alright guys, uh, I'm back. I made me a mixture of a dark color, just black and some fresh and blue. A little bit of sap green and some brown, just mix it all together. And uh, I'm going to come right down here. I'm really kind of interested in this video that I'm doing because uh, I'm really interested in how it's going to turn out. 
and you'll understand after a while here. Once I get going, I'm just going to paint all this in right here. See, my idea is this, guy. I'll go ahead and tell you. My idea is this. This is going to be a valley, I hope. Uh, just a valley. And I'm going to put a nice little ledge up here uh, of a rock formation. Maybe a big tree with a limb sticking out. And I'm going to attempt. Again, I'll say again. I'm going to attempt to paint an eagle. A bald eagle for you today. So, just bear with me on that one, alright? I'm going to come right about, I'm going to go keep going down here, just clean off my brush. Something like that. You can come up here and give me another brush. That's a little bit too big, can't see what I'm doing. Come up here with a little brush before it gets dry and just pull up. It's going to be trees way in the background. keep going down like this and I'll be right back all right uh, as this is drying right here let me explain something to you you know if you're out there trying to uh, if, let's say you're in the painting and you're out there uh, you know on these uh, arts and craft shows and all and you got your little booth and trying to sell paintings and across from you someone else is doing some paintings you know theirs are selling and yours not don't be mad at them you know, be mad at yourself because you didn't put any detail into your painting. These little tree um, that I put way right back here in the background, that's a little detail. That's what people are looking for. You know, so, you know, keep that in mind if you're out there, you know, trying to sell your paintings, okay? And, uh, now you're going to run into all kinds of at these arts and crafts shows. I tell you, I, I have seen some sites, you know, that, uh, I wonder why you didn't even come out. Okay, I remember one. I'll show you. I'll share this story with you. Remember one our Arts and Crafts show I went to, and this uh, elderly couple uh, came up to me, clearly uh, retirement age. Okay, but you know she was well dressed, looked like she just came from the salon. You know, ring, gold rings on every finger. No, he, he was wearing you know, a little golf pants, a little golf shirt, you know, had the tan going on uh, and all, and they were standing there, you know, looking at my paintings at a distance, okay, and they started walking up, getting closer to my paintings where they can actually see my price on the painting, and they all, I mean, they both they, they just rolled their eyes like, oh, no, you know, I mean, you know, 40, 50 bucks I had on that painting. And it was a big painting. It was bigger than this. <laughs> you know, they just rolled their eyes. You know, I like to get up and roll their heads on the floor. You know, you know, roll your eyes at me. I mean, clearly, they got the very first dollar they ever made in their life. They still got it. They're that type of people. But anyway, let me get back to my painting. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got me a little a Prussian blue uh, on my brush here. And I want, I want a little late. Right about here, so well, all I'm going to do is just come down with it. Something like that. And come in here and just get a just touch of this sap green. This sap green here and there. Alright. white paint very little and remember this lake is so far away all right wipe that off and then go across Got yourself a little late. 
All right, guys, I'm going to go continue putting in my uh, our trees right back here. Now, the way I understand it, when you're putting in a valley, you know, the trees and everything need to go down and a, on a diagonal, on a slant, to, to make it look like there's a valley right there, okay? So, don't go straight across. Or right, have a little dip in there, all right? So, I'll be right back. Let me finish this up, and then I'll be right back. Alright, I got me a little rock color on my uh, palette knife. I have all this completed. I mean, uh, uh, this is just trial and error. I'm not looking at nothing, guys. Remember that. Now, how I paint, I'm not looking at nothing. I'm just going on what I think this should look like. I have no tracings up here, no patterns up here. This is what I got in my head, which ain't much, I can tell you that. Let's see here. I'm gonna come just like this right here. I need to make this thing look like it's way out here. Let me work on that. I'll, that's all I'm gonna do is take my palette knife and I'm gonna work it around here. And hopefully it looks like it's gonna be looking over, like it's going looking down into this valley. I hope. Alright guys, I've done with my little rock wall or whatever you want to call it. You got this uh, kind of, you know, like a dead space right here. Um, I think what the best would look like to put some evergreen. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put me an evergreen right here. And just do little upward strokes. You know how you do those evergreens. I've done many of them in my videos. Just draw a little line boop, and just come back. Now, when I first started doing these trees years ago, uh, it would never work out for me. I couldn't figure out why. Um, I went back to the craft store, I bought me some new fan brushes came back started painting and it worked so I went back to the one that I was using I looked at it, it was all old brittle dried out you know I wasn't using the right tool for the job just like any uh, any job um, you know like a carpenter you don't see a carpenter trying to uh, use a screwdriver to, to nail you know you're gonna use a hammer so you ain't gonna use no screwdriver right same thing as painting you know use the the right tool for the job makes your life a whole lot easier. Alright, I'm going to fill this area right in. Alright, and I'll be right back. Alright, that makes me have some more color, some more black and brown. I'm going to put a tree trunk. Oh, right about here. Let it get bigger and bigger. And you know, tap it on the side. Because uh, a lot of times when you're going like that, it uh you know your edge of the tree look too smooth. And unless you unless you want some smooth bark, but this way right here it looks kind of gnarly like. Like that. And it goes right on off the page. Alright? Alright guys, I'm gonna make me some uh some, some arms right here. Let's see. That one there. Yeah. 
How about this one here? It's gonna come behind the tree. And it's gonna come around. Like that. start putting some uh, leaves on the tree and that's the way I load my brushes up if you can see that oh, I guess you can see it right there this at the very tip it's only at the tip of where the paint's at and uh, right up in here Leaves on this old tree. Gotta be careful now because uh, this is where I'm gonna put my eagle at. I'm gonna try to anyway. This is the uh, this is the little details I was telling you about earlier in my video. About you know the details you put in your paintings, you sell them some. You know, this could be what sells, you know, just a little detail. So I'm gonna put in a few more twigs and I'll be right back. Just about done with the painting. I look at right here, this would be a nice little spot right in here uh, for a little uh, eagle nest. I got my fan brush here, and I believe this would ought to look just right. All you do is just do upward strokes, and it'll make all those little, all those little twigs and everything. 
and then come back with some lighter color, a little gray color, maybe. <laughs> little tweaks here and there. But uh, hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one done. Hope you enjoyed this one. Again, hit that old like button for me, and you know, subscribe to my channel. You know, help me out with this. Uh, leave some comments. If you like or don't like it, maybe you want some. You want me to paint something for you? You know, if I can, I can. If I can't, then you know, I can't. Uh, but um, my first try the eagle. It. And that's all right, you know, of course, I, I need to practice some more on that. But um, the whole idea was get this valley in here to make it look like it's, it is a valley and the eagle's overlooking the valley. That, that was the idea of this painting. So until next time, guys, you guys take care of yourself. Come back and see me, all right? All right.